Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. I know it's even worse when I talk at full volume. I, I'm I'm a Harvey Firestein 101, and I'm joined today by Psychotic Dreamer, aka Mikey. Hey, hey <laughs> that's me. Why do I always sound like Fat Albert when I do that? Dude, I don't know. I don't know. You should go Kool Aid Man and just oh yeah, do that. <clears throat> Anyways, so yes. uh... I guess I'm still kind of sick. Like, all I have, I have the, I've had this thing since I was a kid. Whenever I get any sort of, like, chest cold or anything like that where I cough, I, and this is, you know, I mean, long before I smoked or anything like that, um, I cough for, like, two months. Like, I mean, I breathe in between, but, like, I cough <laughs> on and off for two months. Not straight to, I'd die. Because it would just be yeah. out and yeah. there would be no in, you know. Um, <clears throat> so, you also uh, have hell of, hell of the chest muscles, though. For I did. Okay, <laughs> here's the funny part. I talked about it the other day. I've, I, with all the coughing I've had recently, I got a couple of abs. <laughs> they're on the bottom. They're the bottom ones. <clears throat> and uh, no, there's. I'm not joking. Like they're seriously there. I've got a two pack. Um, are there? Think How are you, Moody? I'm well. Other than, <clears throat> than, than sounding like. Uh, you know, everybody's smoker grandma. Uh, I'm, I'm feeling I'm doing okay. But, I think uh, that was yeah. R3. R3. Oh, is it, I thought R there. I thought maybe there would be a call. Uh, Rawlinson? Thank you for the follow. 101, no relation. Maybe. Thank you for the bit. <laughs> yeah, just maybe a distant cousin. You don't know. We don't know, yeah. We're going to have to go to Ancestry.com 101. Anyways, <laughs> so, uh,. <clears throat> Yeah, so I Heather and I are both still have a just an awful cough. And by the way, it's not COVID for, for sure. But uh, yeah, so and I guess just coughing all the time. I just I sound like uh, I don't know, like a like a really large old man who's hitting puberty super late, <laughs> super late in life. So, but we are back in Ignomatica two, the Ignomaticing. And, uh, <clears throat> I don't think I really did a whole lot. I remember I sat on here and got steel. That was about it. Because I want to get into some more of that stuff, so. But, uh, I found if I talk in a lower register, you can't notice as much. But then I just, it, I just end up seducing everyone, and that can be dangerous. <laughs> you know, you understand. <laughs> and so, <clears throat> anyway, um... Real exciting time around the house right now. We have a guy downstairs. Not like tied up or anything, no. <laughs> <coughs> Our microwave died like two weeks ago, which I didn't think it was going to be that big of a deal, you know, until we didn't have a microwave. Then I'm like, holy crap, this is a big deal. <laughs> and uh, so he's down there fixing it right now. So, uh, Space Fist, thank you for the Twitch Prime resub. Eight months, morning, Mr. Modi, and chat. Anyways, uh, what pack is this, Modi? Ignomatica? Why, does it say something no. different? It's Not Ignomatica, Engineer. Engineer's Life 2. My bad. I was, I was just gonna let, I was just gonna let it go, but... <laughs> yep, 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 yep. The Engineer's Life 2. Not Ignomatica 6. Those are different packs that I do at the same time, but on different days. And one of you, them has... You combine them, because you did say this was Ignomatica 2. So Ignomatica 2. Time, it's Engineer's Life 6. It's uh, Engineers Ignomatica uh, 26. That's what it is. Sure. So, Heather and I are trying out something today. Um, basically, uh, <coughs> the dogs have a really bad habit of barking nonstop all the time. Um, so, so, Psychotic Drama, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. 56 months in a row. Appreciate that. Thanks, Mikey. Anyway, Very so well. we, we got one of some of those bark collars, the ones that, that vibrate. They go boom. Well, they beep first off, so it seems like the dogs, I think it's to scare the dogs into thinking they have a bomb around their neck. Every time one of the dog barks, I think we're coming back from commercial in an episode of 24. But anyways, so they beep. Do, do, do. I wanted that ringtone for my phone so bad. The, brr, 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 I can't do it with my voice. Damn it. <clears throat> What's the worst thing about getting sick? I can't do the phones from uh, 24. It's the absolute worst part of being sick. So. 
Anyway, so, uh, yeah, we have those on, and, and, like, just as of, like, half an hour ago. So, you know, having a stranger come into the house to do some work, uh, was, was, was definitely... Well, set them off. Yeah, a real good time. Well, they're in the bedroom with Heather now, but... The dogs, not the, not the repair <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I'm, 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 I'm running around in a video game with you, Mike. I have no idea where anybody is, to be honest with you, at this point. So. Maybe maybe she's got a bar collar on the repair guy. I, I don't know what she does <laughs> oh when my. I stream. I don't know what she does when I stream. I'll be honest with you. So. Hey, go sleep. Mm -hmm. I'm a bee. Anyway. <clears throat> I threw my sleeping bag down. I'm sleeping. Okay. So Heather and I took the uh, the kids out to the Pima County Fair last Thursday and had a uh, had a good time. We had fun. It was nice to have it was nice to have it back. <clears throat> we got there really early so that the kids could ride the rides without it sucking too bad. You know, like like standing in line for too long. So and it worked pretty well. We the kids got to ride a lot of the stuff and I got my giant corn dog. That, that's really all I'm. I'm uh, uh, do I play magic? As in, pull a rabbit out of a hat, or Sarah Angel 4-4 four, four flyer? I'm gonna assume the gathering. Or, or, yeah, or Strippy. I do, I do have those two abs now, so <laughs> I shaved them and oiled them. They look really good. It's two abs on the bottom, and then, but I still have the keg on top, so it's a variety pack. That's what I call that. 4-4 four, four flyer. Yeah, she don't have to tap. <laughs> <clears throat> but uh, I played Magic an extremely long time ago. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, I, I have to thank you. I, I want you to give me a constant microwave update throughout the entire stream until he leaves. Um, <clears throat> I played Magic the late nineties. Um, basically when it first came out. Somewhat. I, I mean, it had been out for a few years. Uh, let me put it this way. I wasn't playing to where I could have my own Black Lotus, but I it was long enough back to where I, I've had friends who let me borrow, and I was able to play with the Black Lotus and all the boxes and all that stuff. So, And Time Walk and Time Warp and all those just broken cards. So. <clears throat> we got a little bit into it. Um, a few years ago, we went to PAX South, the one in Texas. Um, this was, jeez. Uh, no, they weren't legal at the time. They, they were, you could just play with them. They weren't, like, tournament legal anymore. Um, and, uh, <clears throat> when we went, we went there, it was me and Heather and Haley and Krista and Snoop and Raggy and Zanny all met up. In Texas for that it was the, the biggest group of squad members at the time when the squad was around and uh, and you know Magic the Gathering had a had a booth I mean Wizards of the Coast had a booth and they were giving out kind of these little starter packs where if you really wanted to one pack you could technically make two very small decks it was kind of just to promote it and learn and stuff like that <laughs> but we ended up getting, because there was like a white one, a black one, and one for each color, and we ended up getting all of the the packs. Um, and we played a little bit. We played there, and it was actually pretty fun. Um, and the funny part is, is, the main reason we didn't play, uh, and uh, sorry about that so much. Um, is because I couldn't I couldn't read the cards. I couldn't see. Everything was blurry to me. I just had to guess based on what the picture looked like. Of what it did. I'm like, I think these rats fly. Because, you know, those are either ears or wings. I'm not quite sure, but, you know. And, uh, I also tried to get Heather into playing Hero Clicks. We've got some of those. Because I played that back in the day. It was fun. <coughs> but, uh, once again, couldn't see the little numbers. But now I have glasses where I can see, so. Uh, so. Anyway. Yes, months I remember that. It was funny. Mm. 
Yeah, I don't even know what that is. When I played, when I stopped playing, 5th edition had just come out. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I can't, I'm sorry, I'm trying to listen to Heather talk to the microwave guy. But I can't, all I hear is, mom, mom, mom. they're just Charlie Brown teacher me. I used to collect the cards, but never actually played, so... <laughs> It's a fun game. I liked it. The only problem is it's been so long that there's so much new stuff, and when I mean new stuff, stuff that came out 10 years ago, you know what I'm saying? That mm -hmm. it just, it's so much... I mean, the, the core of the game's still the same, but it's, it's, there's so many more things that have been added, and rule changes, and, and this, that, and the other thing, but... Um... And, uh... Randy Wade got a little bit into it. But like I said, I mean, it was, it was, you know, Heather liked it, but she wasn't, like, crazy about it or anything like that. Um, and, uh, and I think, really, I just, because I couldn't play, because I couldn't see anything, um, I just, there was really nobody to play with him, you know. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't know. Yeah, that would make it frustrating. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. I don't want to make food. I get distracted and make food. Um, I know Pink Cacti, uh... <clears throat> she collected Pokemon cards. Because she really liked Pokemon stuff. But she, And I, I remember when her and her sister were kind of little. Like, probably like... Six and eight or something like that. I took them to, uh took them to um like a like a car like a card place like a not really a comic book store but like tabletop gaming type place uh -huh. <clears throat> and they were having a, a pokemon tournament that and they had some people that were i wouldn't say working there per se but you know like volunteering or whatever and their thing was is they would uh um they would teach kids, you know, they would like, you know, set up stuff and they'd give them a, you know, a couple little starter this and starter that and whatnot. And, uh, but yeah, they, they just, the girls never really, she liked Pokemon, but I don't think she was that much into it, so. But. I'm so curious what's going on downstairs. They're right at the bottom of the stairs. <laughs> I, I can hear her, I can hear her laughing in the background. <laughs> Well, from what she said, apparently he took it apart, which is how it was when I came up here. And then he put it back together and it's still not working. So I'm curious if we're going to be getting a new one, which is cool, but God knows how long until we actually get it. Mm. Uh, I think he's leaving, so. So, probably. <clears throat> if it's still broken yet, not anytime soon, then. I would love if he was like, nope, broken, and he just left. Yep, can't do anything. Sorry, bye. Yeah. <laughs> Weirdest thing, won't turn on. All right, have a good day. Oh, man. Anyway. Um, yeah, nothing much else exciting going on. All right, Heather, Heather needs to get back to her computer so she can type and tell me what's going on. I'm, I'm assuming he's not coming back considering the fact that she let the dogs out. And by the way, if anybody's curious, it was Heather. If you let the ball on, they'd know that. <laughs> so they'll shut up about that. Jesus. <clears throat> I wonder, you know, I mean, I wonder if, I never listened to their music, like, like bought an album. But were all the songs like, who left this dish out? Do, 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 do. <laughs> who didn't make their bed? Uh, 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 you know, and, you know, other, other variations. Whose week is clean the bathroom? Bam, bam, bam. I would listen to all that. Basically, <laughs> just, just, just curious about chores. That, that's all that, that they. That's, that's their niche. Yes. Sure. Mm -mm -mm -mm. That'd be cool. <clears throat> I think Pink Hack died. She's 24. I think she still has Pokemon cards. So. The the boys hit that uh that uh age where like 
you know, that stuff's not cool anymore. So yeah, they stopped being interested in it. And then they're going to get older and be like, God, I wish I had this stuff. <laughs> Uh, yay, we're getting a new microwave. GE is going to email or call about an appointment. Oh, Jesus Christ. Up top. Uh, Captain Shag wants to give Monkey a treat. Monkey! Monkey! <coughs> My voice is broken. Come here. <laughs> Monkey's probably running away. Who's a stranger calling me? Monkey! <laughs> Alright, fine. We're going to go whaling. We're going to mix it up. Come here, buddy. Monkey's, monkey's in with Heather. Be right back. <laughs> oh, there she is. Okay, apparently Heather released her. Yeah. Alright, get out of here. Alright, there we go. Look at that. You got double the dog for the regular price. Alright, so nest locator. I should get some more nests. Bam. Nest was clear that way. <laughs> Well, okay, why is it telling me? Because then I'm, I'm going the wrong way, then. Monkey's got the hang of her collar. She barks one, then stops. Whale's an idiot, though. It just keeps going. <laughs> we just want him to chill out. The, you know what the, the thing is? Is that they go bananas at the kids. So, I, I mean, I get it when, like, the kids come home from school. You know, they're, they're you know, coming in the door, and they have to unlock the door, and all teenagers are awkward as hell, and, you know, it's, it's just a mess. I get that, right? The thing I don't get is, is they bark at any of the kids when they come down the stairs. Just, you know, eat food or go to school or whatever. And the dogs, and then the dog, you know, and it's like, is, is that where you think the threat's coming from? <clears throat> Someone's going to break in upstairs and then casually walk down the stairs as we're sitting and watching TV? So, well, they're trying just to... excited about the humans, that's all. Oh, they don't care about us. Alright, are these full grown? Hey, my cumin grow, groated. Grow, grow, did you need? Grooted? Grooted did. <laughs> it grew. It did. That's what I said. Yeah. Uh, my cotton's exactly coming along. Look at this. Look at this. Exciting. Let's go check in the rice. It is, yeah. You gotta protect us from all the dangers. There's a cactus outside that looks just just a little too cactusy, if you know what I mean, you know? <laughs> but anyway, so no, she didn't. We didn't get shock ones. We got the the vibrating ones. So they, like I said, they beep and then they vibrate a little bit. And if they keep barking, they'll vibrate a little bit longer, and then eventually they'll just I don't know, vibrate a lot. <laughs> that is true. Yeah, Heather said that uh, it's because the kids are always in their rooms so and the dogs don't know who they are. Especially pink cacti. She won't. She you know. She, because the her bedroom is right next to the upstairs bathroom, <coughs> so literally, unless she's going to work or getting food, she does not almost ever come downstairs. So yeah, they're they're not used to her scent. <laughs> All right, let's get back to B stuff. Man, I get so little done in this pack because I just want to hang out and chit chat with Mikey. That, that's that's the point of this. This is more of a podcast, people. You don't have to watch. It's not a good podcast. It's a day podcast. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm involved. Of course, it's not good. No, you shush, key buddy. Everybody yells at me for running around. Stop running around. You're wasting food. It's not real. I don't have to pay for it. It literally is just growing right over there. So concerned about food, everybody. Ah, uh, This. Are we adding on words? <laughs> I don't know. Just free association, I guess. Okay. I'm missing a button. Alright, so we got a bee jar. I 
have the highest agility in the pack, yeah. Because I do this a lot. You think I only do this when I'm, I'm recording or streaming? No. This is me doing off-camera. Bounce around, bounce around, do something. Bounce around, bounce around, do something. Mm -mm -mm. Alright, let's go to sleep. Where'd Large go? He's okay. running around. A little concerned. Well, he's, he, he lets run around more meanders around, but, you know. He, he does similar. meander. I saw Mosey the other day. It was nice. <laughs> I was a fan. And well, that's a you problem, Key Bunny, not a Modi problem. We will see ya. Stop watching me run around. <coughs> okay, first of all, don't say the weed <laughs> place, because that's not <laughs> what... <laughs> Okay, all right, back up. Well, it makes it sound like you guys, it sound like you guys are going to the weed place, you know. No. We went to a place that is where you buy stuff for do-it-yourself weed control uh, and, and, and pest control, you know. Okay, very different weed place then, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, we, we, uh, we got a... We gotta, spray the front yard and we found that if we go to this place you you buy like all the stuff separately and kind of mix it into your own sprayer it works a thousand times better and overall it's way cheaper so anyway so we go to this place and it's not a get in the jar get in the jar why okay i think i'm making out with this bee on accident get in the jar all right what does this jar do i should probably have looked at that Put a bee cage uh, containing a bee in your sleeves. Oh, okay. I gotta get a bee cage. Thing, so. <coughs> anyway, so yeah, we went to uh, we went to the weed place on uh, Monday because we it's like this three part mixture, and we ran out of one of the parts. That's how they get you. And uh, so we went in and. It's like just two guys working, right? Just two employees, two older guys. And there was another couple in there. And one of the guys helped them. We got our stuff. And we knew, we like, we actually brought the empty bottle in. Like, we knew exactly what we needed. <coughs> and I look over and I'm like, I look over at this other couple and I look at Heather and I'm like, damn, it looks like Greg. You know, convinced it's not. And then, like, 30 seconds later, he comes over. Hey, man. I'm like, hey, Greg. By the way, for anybody who doesn't know, Greg's the one singing all the songs you hear in these streams and recordings. He was in a band called Fort Worth, who this is. So, and you guys probably heard me yell at Greg to stop cussing. So, but yeah, it was him. And, and, and I honestly, it, it, it didn't look like him because he, he, like, lost a bunch of weight. He was looking good. <clears throat> so, yeah, we stood there with him and his new girlfriend. He... Um, he's a nurse. Like he, like he got his, like he wasn't a nurse. He used to be in the Air Force, and he was a mechanic. You know, working on planes and whatnot. <clears throat> and then, uh, a handful of years ago, he decided uh, that he was going to go off to nursing school, and he did. And he ended up getting his RN and worked in a local hospital here. And then I guess he met this girl that she worked there too and they've been dating and they became traveling nurses or <coughs> just because you get paid a stupid amount of money for doing the exact same job mm -hmm. um so uh yeah now he's a people mechanic exactly he went from a plane mechanic <laughs> to a people mechanic so. but uh yeah so it, it not only is it weird to run into him in a very random place cause there's you know 10 of these type, 10, 15, 20 of these places throughout Tucson, you know. And the fact that it's just a small little mom and pop one, one that's really not, not neither, like near either of our houses. Like in the grand scheme of things. So, but uh, yeah, it was nice to see him and chit chat, meet the new girlfriend and talk to him. He was talking to him about music and stuff. And he said that, because uh, he, he Bought a new, he got, he sold his old house, which is, would be the one that I had been to a thousand times. But then, uh, he bought a new one, and I guess one of the big factors is, is it had like this, he called it a garage, but then he kind of described it as kind of like a, like a work 
work shed, like a uh, workshop type thing. <clears throat> um, it's like, yeah, I gotta, I'm, I'm getting over a cold. So. Anyways, and uh, he said that was one of the reasons he bought it because he wants to, um, he wants to, he's soundproofing inside of it, making it like kind of a practice space recording studio thing. So, and then once they kind of pay off some debt and some other things with the whole traveling nurse thing that they're going to come back and then stay here permanently. So, so hopefully just maybe, hopefully Greg will, I don't see Greg ever quitting wanting to do band stuff. So hopefully we'll have, you know, something new. But it was really nice to him. It was funny. He was joking around. And it, it was funny because, like, he was, you know, he was, like, talking to his girlfriend, like, right in front of us and being like, okay, you know, you know I, I, I told you about, you know, Modi. He didn't use Modi. He's my real name. <laughs> and, uh, <clears throat> and, you know, uh, this is a guy that, you know, plays video games, plays Minecraft for a living. Remember I told you about that? And you could tell in his voice, he was, like, kind of excited about what Heather and I do. <laughs> But, you know, nice girl, but at the same time, I don't think she gave a crap. I don't think she was nearly as impressed as either he was or he hoped she was. Um, yeah, and apparently, not so much, I don't think, with me, and Heather won't admit to this, it wasn't so much about me, but she, Heather and Greg have met, what, maybe a handful of times on over the years. But I guess there was a point where Greg was watching a lot of our videos. And, uh, and so, yeah, when Heather would talk, he would get a little fangirly. Was Sorry, like, you're sick. Aww. Hope you feel better. <clears throat> well, that definitely helps. Good witch, thank you for the $50 donation. Says, Sorry, you're sick. Hope you feel better. You and me both, sister. I'm, I'm hoping. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. See, Mikey? Take that. Boom. Right, I'm, I'm sick in the head. I can use the help. Well, yeah, that, that's yeah. There's there, there's there's no quill. There's no quill for that one. <laughs> Day, night, nothing. <laughs> yeah, that that's the funny part. <coughs> uh, put me cage. But yeah, yeah. So, so apparently, uh, Heather and Greg were having uh, fangirl offs. And meanwhile, I'm just sitting there being like, "It's funny because I've seen you both naked." All right. Um, <clears throat> I can't for surely say I've seen Greg naked, but there's a good chance. There's a very good chance. All right, cool. Look at that. We got a little bee. A little bee in a jar. Now, does this do anything or just display it? I think it's just a display thing. That's too bad. It'd be cool if, like, I could milk it or whatever. That's fun. So, yeah. And, yes, I'm pretty sure I've seen Greg Nick. Okay. Uh... Hi, Darkwing Lance. You just come in with the most random stuff. Okay, so I'm assuming you meant to say attacked and not attracted. Yeah, so very different uh, sentiments there. Uh. Wait, unless they were really attractive and, and, and you just got too excited and that's why you had to go to the hospital? <coughs> Lance, I'm waiting for the day that you kind of be like, Hey, guys, how you doing? Everything's fine. I was murdered yesterday. Yeah. Wait, how are you here? It's your murder. <laughs> there you go, attacked. I like attracted. I'm going to stick to that. I was so aroused by my neighbors the other day. I had to go to the hospital. <laughs> oh, my. Mm -mm -mm. Just dark wing lance, our little ball of sunshine. <laughs> yeah, I hope you're okay, though, buddy. Yeah. All right. What do we got here? Right, let me make these. Yes, okay. <laughs> 
Mm. All right, so we're going to send one of these. All right, and we're missing it. Oh, I can't. How am I supposed to do this if I can't make a campfire? Um, very carefully. I don't know. Because this is, oh. I don't think I can pick them up, like not to put them into a crafting recipe. I think maybe even with so touch, touch maybe. maybe? Uh, let's see. I have I have a silk touch pickaxe. Let me go pick one up and see what happens. No. <clears throat> All right. Let's try picking this one up. I don't think I'm doing anything. Does it have to be an axe? Maybe, I don't know. I don't have a soap touch axe. I have a soap touch pickaxe. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And I don't think I can look up in the description of something. This thing. Yeah, you can't make them. You, well, you can, but you don't make them the normal way. Yeah, you make them in a world or something like that. Yeah, you throw things on the ground. Of course, there's, I believe, an update to this pack, so they might have fixed the problem. I don't know. But. Yeah, well, it wasn't a problem because it's actually in the book. Like, it tells you how to do it in the right, book. Right, but there's yeah. crafting recipes that are required, so it's a problem. Yeah, oh, yeah, no, I agree. I'm just saying. I, I don't, let me uh, rephrase that. I don't think it was an accident they did it that way. Yeah, no, so. but I, 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 I wonder if they fixed the crafting recipes in the update or something. That's the crafting recipe for normal one, yes, Key Bunny, but not in this. But, but, Mikey, it sticks in wood. <laughs> Michael. All right, we don't have another one of those books. Oh, he uses the end, yeah. I'm surprised I can't pick it up even with a pickaxe. Like, I, I know, you know, usually it's better, but I didn't realize it was pretty much unbreakable. I'll try again. Maybe I just wasn't determined enough. Nope, not at all. Weird, okay. Weird, wild stuff. Weird, crazy. <laughs> Alright, well, that's a thing. Alright, well that kind of throws a monkey wrench into, uh... Goddess, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate that. Uh, yes, we are on Java, dear. Uh -huh. <laughs> did you call me dear? He, he the Wolf Goddess did, and they asked, "Are you on?" Are no, you on I Java know, I know. That's I was, I was, no, okay. I, okay, and then that's why I was responding with calling them dear, also, because uh -huh. it was so bizarre. I had to respond in kind. <laughs> <clears throat> Heather, Wolf Goddess is, is hitting on me and Mikey. I'm just going to see what was both of us. Mm -mm -mm. See, this is what happens when I try and do stuff. You know? I, maybe I should read this. The more advanced beehive that will keep your bees happy or allow them you know, okay, uh, the best part is that you won't need a campfire under the hive to harvest it peacefully. Well, that's great if I can make a campfire. No, 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 I'm not. I know. We're just kidding. We're kidding. You've got a hubby. Is he hitting on us? Can he? <laughs> I'm assuming a campfire isn't like a dragon egg where I can just put a, like a torch under and it'll drop right now. 
Oh, try yep, it. This is the worst could happen. Yeah. Uh, did, did the server explodes. Okay, then we have learned something at least. Then. <laughs> yep. That that's my philosophy. Yeah, I know. I, I want to apologize to anybody watching if you're feeling very seduced right now. I've, I've been sick, so you know. <laughs> <laughs> Response. <laughs> I, I like I like that Wolf Goddess is, is 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 coming in and then opening up about the fact that she's uh she's curious exactly how curious her husband is. Well, good for you. <clears throat> I'll be right back. Did we actually just start an orgy? All right, Mikey, have fun. Be safe. <laughs> okay. Oh, Minecraft. Oh, okay. See, you made it. Uh, nope, not the end. This is you're in the middle. You're in the you're in the middles. In the middles, there, uh, Ginger. <coughs> what did you walk into? I don't know. Apparently, you actually started questioning your 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 husband's interest and then uh, invited us to an orgy. Apparently, so you know that that's what you walked into. <clears throat> Anyways, by the way, I haven't even mentioned this yet. Uh, it's the beginning of May right now, uh, stream-wise. It's May the 4th, so happy Star Wars Day. Um, and, uh, no, that just means you're invited, Large. And, uh, yeah, so if you guys want to get, come and, and uh, hang out with Heather and I, play on our 12 Minecraft servers. It's 1 vanilla and 11 modded. And, uh... You know, hang out in our Discord, get to be in our Saturday streams with Heather and I, where you'll be in the column on the server. It's like you're streaming with us. And, uh, and so, yeah, you guys can come do that and get to meet everybody. Plus, uh, I know on the 15th of this month, we're having Patreon movie night. So we're going to hang out and watch a movie. And, uh, and yeah, and it's actually a really good way to uh, help support what we do. <laughs> kind of in a in a sugar mama sugar daddy kind of way. So uh, the Discord is for uh, the Patreon. Get to the Patreon, come hang out. So yeah, a lot of really cool people, including Mikey who stepped away. Mm -mm -mm. All right, so our food's Well, Wolf we'll Goddess, if you want to become a Patreon, you can get access to all the servers and Discord and everything. Uh, <clears throat> You're good, Smuts. You're good. It, it, it all it all worked out. Oh, that sucks. Well, you done that. Get that husband of yours to get another job. Alright, so I can't do a campfire. That's unfortunate. And that really kind of then locks these ones, which I can make. Huh. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I might do that. I might do that. I feel bad for you. All right, let's do this before Mike gets back and gets all judgmental. You guys saw nothing. I'm back and I catch you cheating, huh? Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Everybody scatter. <laughs> no, that's the only reasonable thing to do when they when they make make it uncraftable for no logical reason. Yeah. I'm convinced it's just to be mean. And to then that'd be logical. Yeah, Mike is sneaking just make out. Life he was just, he didn't even leave, he had his headphones on, he was hiding under his desk just waiting. He knew. He knew. I went to Morgan. grab a soda. Nice. That and go to the bathroom. <coughs> two separate but rooms, I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah. Yes, two separate rooms and basically two separate trips. And unrelated. <laughs> yes. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. 
I used to be able to do it in the same room until Heather took my bucket away. <laughs> Get a girlfriend, they said. It'll be wonderful, they said. <laughs> she's gonna take your she's gonna take your office pee bucket away. <laughs> As long as I, I think it's gross enough as it's just a pee bucket, but as long as it's just a pee bucket, not a poop bucket also. Alright, Ginger, let's see, that's cool. Anyways, alright, well I'm gonna step aside and we're just we're gonna just stare at large while I'm gone. Like we're just gonna really go in depth on them. Large and the large and Mikey show. Uh, let me know if they kiss. Alright, I'll be right back. <laughs>